Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a civil engineering basic knowledge video, I mean about civil engineering basic knowledge video. So in this video, I am going to discuss about difference between beam and girder. So actually, beam and girder, its work procedure are almost same in construction site, but I mean uh, beam carry the horizontal I mean a uh, vertical load and girder also carry vertical load from its perpendicular axis but here uh, beam and girder have some uh, specific difference so I will discuss about that in this video so let's uh, start and if you knew her you can watch our previous video if you think that this is helpful for you and you will find the playlist in the end of, end of the video so you can watch from there so let's uh, start so first of all if we see beam or horizontal member and one of the most commonly designed element of the uh, structure girder support a smaller beam so here is the difference if we show you beam or horizontal member and one of the most commonly designed element of the structure but girder supports a smaller beam and act as the main horizontal support of the structure okay so girder what girder do girder su uh, support a smaller beam so in figure in last i will show you about that after that it's topically intended to carry distributed load such as parallel wall or tributary area of floor or rope system so we all know that if, uh, the beam carry the perpendicular or parallel load from wall or floor and also from the rope system but uh, for girder it is designed to support major concentrate loads such as column slot and beams reaction it's it is designed to support major concentrate load so uh, the girder carry concentrate load has a big difference girder carries concentrate load but uh, beam carry uniformly distributed load okay and I mean distributed load so loads such as columns and beams reaction so if we go again here it is mainly used for residential project like buildings and tall standing structure standing structure but for garden it is mainly used for commercial structure such as flyover and bridge if you see in flyover and bridge they have a long garden used under bridge so again if we see beams are mainly classified as simply supported fixed and cantilever beams but garden are can be uh, classified as I beam girder are most common types of girders used in the bridge construction and they have many types of girder but almost every construction every engineer prefer I girder that's why I have discussed here about I girder and this is the most common used girder ever in a structure then wall beams are not necessarily girder so we cannot tell uh, wall beam as a girder but wall girder can be uh, called beams so in our previous video I have told you that uh, I mean in our previous video and also in that line I have told you that beams are girders are almost same as work procedure but it has some difference then fabricating a beam does not require considering additional requirement fabricating a girder required considering essential factors such as erection stability plate sizing etc so here if you see that this is the girder this is a girder and also uh, this is the beam and uh, the beam transfer load to the girder okay so in previous i have tell, told, it, uh, told you that the beam transfer load to girder as concentrate load okay here it will work as a concentrate load and the beam and girder are connected with some plates 
here you can see that this is also garter I have told you about that uh, in breeze we see that the long garter used in the breeze to transfer load in the pile cap then here is another garter just see that the length of that garter this is a huge amount of size so thank you for watching and I think it was helpful for you and if you think that that is really helpful for you press the like button and don't forget to share that video with your engineer friend and leave a comment your own like and your own comment inspire us for the next work so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video